as well. So what cap. All right, during this first course, we're gonna be teaching you the punches in Muay Thai. And the very first thing we wanna establish is having the correct guard. So what we need you to do is put your hands out like so. You're gonna roll your fingers in and your thumbs go on top of your fingers, okay? You're gonna take your left foot and put it forward like this. And your hands are gonna be at one of three levels. They're either gonna be at your chin level, they can be at your cheekbone level, or your eyebrow level. Now for Muay Thai, I recommend that they go at the eyebrow level. So this is your basic guard right here. Okay, elbows are tucked in, right? Not pinned against your body because you wanna be relaxed and be able to kick, but they're gonna sit right here. Now we're gonna walk you through the different motions and different types of punches. The first punch is the jab and the jab comes straight out like this with the left hand, okay? So we're gonna demonstrate to you. The jab comes out like from here and it comes right out and straight back, okay? Jab, good, jab, jab. The right hand, the straight right hand will come out the same way. He's gonna turn and twist his body and it's gonna come right back to his guard again. So it comes out from here and back. Good. Excellent. The next punch is called the hook. And what the hook, it's gonna come from the side angle like this. So your hand is here, you're gonna drop and rotate. Okay, so you're from here, drop and rotate. Same thing with the right hook. The right hook comes from the side, Again, this arm is almost parallel and this hand is protected. Okay, so the left hook. Good. Excellent. And again, if he leaves his hand there, notice it's nice and compact and this side of his body is protected so I can't throw a punch against him. See? Good, same thing with the right hook. It's gonna rotate and turn into the target. Good. And his knuckle, his knuckle is pointed upwards like this. So he can land with all four knuckles when he punches. Again. Good. Okay, the next punch is called the uppercut. Basically, we're in our guard here. We're gonna lead with the right uppercut. You're gonna dip down just a little bit to get into position. Okay, this right hand is gonna go underneath like this. And again, notice how my chin is tucked inside. I'm protecting myself and the uppercut goes up underneath. Same thing with the left. I'm gonna dip just a little bit and the left uppercut comes under. The other side is protected. Okay, so right uppercut. We'll go right under the chin. Same with the left. One more time. Good. The next punch is the hook to the body. And it's very important that when you're changing levels, this is called changing levels because the hook on top will hit me here. The hook on top will hit me here. But when he throws to the body, he's gonna to have to drop down to get to the level he wants to hit me to the body now, which will come up, boom, and wrap around to the side. Okay, so, so you can see from here, I'm gonna dip down just a little bit and the hook is gonna to come to the body. Okay, versus being tall for the head shot, we're going down a little bit more for the body shot. So we rotate and hit, rotate and hit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna demonstrate the hook to the body. He's gonna drop, rotate, and hit to the side. And his aim is for the side of the ribs here. The side of the ribs onto the side. Good. That's it. Good, same with the left. Good. That's it. One more. Good. Now, the uppercut is a little bit different. The hook comes to the side, the hook comes to the side, but again, the uppercut to the body, you dip down, and instead of going upwards, you're gonna almost go a little bit more forward, so it's kind of a 45 degree angle. It's semi, it's semi up and semi forward, so it's kind of, it's going in to the body versus upwards to the chin. So again, he's gonna dip down, 
and uppercut to the body. Aim is the stomach or the solar plexus. Good. 